Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. As you can see on my screen, there is a whole bunch of different types of bonds that are available for purchase. And we've gotta be quick in today's video because I'm gonna be explaining three of them in just three minutes. Now, like I said, there's a lot more than three, but in today's video, we're gonna be talking about agency bonds, corporate bonds, and government bonds, also known as treasuries. We're gonna be talking about what they are, if they're taxable, what happens when they default, and anything else you need to know. So stay tuned, this is gonna be a quick one. Starting off with our agency bonds, these can really be issued by two different sort of entities. Number one being government-sponsored enterprises, or GSEs, and then we have government agencies, or GAs. Now the taxability really varies based on the bond and based on who's issuing it. I'll throw a video in the top right corner of your screen right now that talks a whole lot more about this, but just know for now that it varies. In terms of what happens when they default, it sort of splits into two GSEs, government sponsored enterprise bonds are not backed generally by the US government. GAs, however, are fully backed by either the US government directly or in other ways. It gets a little complicated, but just know that GSEs are not backed and GAs are backed. Other things to know, they're almost always called before their actual expiration date. This is because they have the highest rates out of these three types of bonds. And so as interest rates come back down, they're going to get called. Another important thing to know, they have high minimums. A lot of them are 1,000, 5,000, or even 15,000. So not the best if you're a beginning bond investor. Moving on to corporate bonds, these are really the simplest of the three. They're issued by companies or corporations. It's in the name. Then we have taxability. Yes, they're fully taxable. And in terms of defaulting, they are not protected. And so what you actually get out of a bond that defaults when it's a corporate bond it really just depends on the situation, but it's not gonna be a whole lot. And in terms of other things to know, there is speculative corporate bonds, which are a little bit more on the risky end, but have higher rates. And then we have investment grade corporate bonds, which are much safer, but the rates might be a little bit lower. Now for the last of our three types of bonds today, we have treasuries or government bonds. These are issued by the US government and are fully backed by the US government, meaning if they do default, you will get your money back. In terms of taxability, it is only taxable at the federal level. So if you live in a state with a little bit higher income tax, this could make a big difference for you. Last couple things to know, these are sold direct to consumer on Treasury Direct, which is the government's website for them, or you can buy them on your brokerage. And at this point in time, it's important to know that rates are inverted, meaning that these bonds that are longer term, 20, 30 years, actually have lower rates than the treasury bills and notes, which is not usually how it is, but that's how it is right now. So if you're looking into buying these, it's important to keep in mind, yes, you're locking in that rate for a longer time, but you are gonna be receiving a little lower rate. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it was simple. Share it with someone that could be new in the bond investing world so that they can get a little insight into what options are out there. But other than that, we'll see you in the next one.